beautiful plantful people my name is Yulia and this is channel all about plants and plenty things so if you are into that kind of stuff feel welcome to join me and today as you may see I have this beauty in front of me this is Scandapsus plant this is Scandapsus exotica if you are not familiar with this but this is such a beauty it's really robust it's really gorgeous it has this beautiful huge leaves and that's what I like about it and month or maybe month and a half ago I took some cuttings from this plant because this is what I do with all my trailing plants and I propagated those I have these two cuttings here I took just one of these vines and I cut in a way that I leave each node separately so I put those in water and I use basic tap water I don't use anything special and as you may see I got these beautiful roots in no time and now these cuttings are ready to be planted here in a mother pot because I want bushier plant as I said and this is the way that I get to that point with every of my trailing plants and except from this one I have Agirius like I said and I have Silvery Ann and Silvery Ann has this I don't even know how to describe she has this beautiful beautiful silver like spots irregular shaped spots all over and that's what makes her difference different than these two so yeah some people don't actually notice because they are pretty similar but silvery Anne and argirius are pretty small in comparison with this one so these exotica plants are huge and beautiful and that's why this is my favorite so like i said i will try and make bushier top part and in a time i'm planning to took some more cuttings and create completely new plant because i like to have safety net i want to have something just in case if something happens with this one so that I have a backup and as you may see these roots are so beautiful so gorgeous it's really easy to propagate this plant and it's really easy to care for skindapsus as I realized it's almost like photos plants Epipremnum aureum that ones are also pretty easy to grow and these ones are quite similar to that and I just want to mention that these Skindapsus plants are actually pretty easy to for to know when to water them they will just do this with leaves they will close leaves like this curl them in a way and that way you know when they need to be watered as you may see these are standing flat and that means that this plant doesn't need to be watered still but when leaves become like so and when they roll up just a little bit then it's a time so that's pretty cool about them because you can't Overwater them if you follow that that tip and yeah I like that because I'm underwater so I usually don't have problems with overwatering but with these ones that's pretty cool I just wait when leaves start to curl and then I water her and I didn't have any problems so pretty pretty cool like I said and yeah 
I put these two cuttings back in this planter and now we just wait. I will water this just a little bit because I don't want to make too much stress for these freshly cuttings and after that I will wait as usual for plant to tell me when she needs water and then I will water her. So what do you think? I think that this is such a gorgeous plant and when you put her on the sunlight these silver parts are almost glowing. They are like sparkles and that's one of my favorite characteristics about plants. Plants that have this silver on the leaves are my favorite usually, so yeah, I really like this plant and all my Skindapsus varieties has that. And in a time I'm planning to find two more varieties, I think the Moonlight and what's the other silver form, I think that's the name, but those are not so common, they are pretty hard to find here, so I don't think I will find it that soon, but who knows, in a time those two are on my wish list, so that will be all. I have this tree and if I found those two, I'm done with Skindapsus, They're, that are all varieties that I want, so who knows. I will keep you updated if I found if I found them somewhere, but I still haven't saw them in real, in person ever here in my country. So I will wait and see. And I just need to mention that you shouldn't put Skindapsus plants on direct sun. They like to be on partial shade. Almost they they manage to grow pretty well in less light but if you want them to grow faster of course put them on indirect light and they will grow fast but never on direct sun because you will burn them <laughs> that way same as photos so if you have epipremum aureum or photos as usually people call them and if you know how to care for those it's pretty similar care so you won't have any problems and that was all. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.